Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The journal feature of Outlook can be used to record multiple types of interactions. You can record interactions with important contacts, when documents or items are created and accessed, or many other types of activities that are of importance. You can configure the journal to record these items and activities either manually or automatically. You can open the journal folder by clicking the folder list button that appears in the navigation pane and then selecting the journal folder from the folder list navigation pane. The first time that you access the journal, it prompts you to turn the journal folder on as it is turned off by default. If you wish to use the journal feature, then you can click yes. Even if you click no, you can enable it at a later point in time. The journal can record emails, meeting requests and subsequent responses, and task requests and responses. In the journal, you can also automatically record when Microsoft Office documents are accessed on your computer if you have Microsoft Office installed. The journal can also automatically record activities with contacts that you select from your Outlook Contacts folder. It can keep a log of any activities that you have performed for those contacts, such as phone conversations you had, letters or invoices that you've sent or received, or other types of interactions. Each journal entry represents one activity. Except for manually recorded entries, most entries are recorded when the activity occurs. You can then open the entry to examine the details of the activity associated with the entry. From there, you can use the entry as a way to access the associated file, if applicable, or Outlook item to which the journal entry refers. This can be very useful when you can't remember where a particular Office file is in your computer. If you have Outlook set up to automatically create a journal entry when you access your Office files, you can view the details of your journal for that file and then use the entry to open the file. Also, by default, the journal organizes entries in chronological order. You can reorganize the view of the journal in much the same way that you can modify the view of any folder in Outlook. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.